Imagine the situation. You have found a controller at a friend's house, or a pre controller, and it's got this all over the hands. I mean, give me a look close, hopefully you can see. It is nasty. Oh yeah, look at that hand grease. Look at that pristine hand grease. What is that, Doritos? Potato chips or some description? I don't know, it's disgusting. So I figured I'm making a quick video today just because I kind of want to get something out. Real videos, working on promise. How I clean up controllers because I am an obsessive little shit who hates nasty, greasy, clammy controllers. My solution is actually pretty simple. It is, um, so I'm gonna focus. Hand sanitizer. So do I focus for you? There we go. So one, this stuff is based on alcohol, so it's not gonna damage electronics unless you use a ton of it, in which case, please don't use a ton of it. I'll show you the propagation in a second. But also it dries quickly and it is quite literally designed to break down hand grease out of the bottle. That's what this stuff is designed to do. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to do it. I've got a couple of controls I'm gonna show you how to do it on. So we'll start with the PS4 one here. It's not actually a pre-owned one, it's just my Player 2 controller. It's rarely to use the PS4, so I haven't actually cleaned it much since I think my family was here. But a little drop, a little drop. Put it down for a second. Hopefully that won't get on the sofa. Kitchen towel, paper towel, Scott towels. I don't know, I don't know where you're from, whatever you call it. And just rub it on in. Okay, so now that is on there, we can argue it's definitely clean. If you're a car person, you'll probably have one of these lying around as a chamois cloth. If you wear glasses, one of your glass uh, lens cleany things will work fine. Just wipe it down, give it a quick rub all over. And, bring out my focuser again. Focus it in, clean as a whistle. Now, on white controllers, it's a bit harder to see the hand grease, but there's definitely something to be said about an old nasty Dreamcast controller, which is right now my only working one, because my other nicer looking one bit the bullet. So we're gonna clean it up quickly to kind of demonstrate that it also works on older stuff as well. It's the same as last time. Dip. Oh, that was way too much, way too much. So it's gonna immediately just rub that in. Yeah, I've been seeing videos where people use stuff like Gugon to do this, and that to me is just a horrible, horrible idea. Just because Gugon is designed to get gunk off of like, that's been stuck on for a long time. And I've got it on the sofa, the thing I don't want to do. Gugon's just designed to physically uh, dissolve glues and other such uh, solvents. And the issue is, is just it will destroy the plastic if left alone on it. With this stuff, it's, granted, it's, you know, not really meant for this either, but it is designed to dissolve and evaporate very quickly. So it's not gonna stay on there for too long and hopefully it won't do too much damage. Now that is infinite, infinitely less sticky than it was five minutes ago. But yeah, and there we go. It's a little bit discolored and yellow, but uh, there's other products for that, but it is clean now and it's nowhere near as sticky as it was. That A button's not dry though, so I just, oh God. And that's why I don't use way too much. Well, there we go. Nice, easy, simple. I don't know, how long was that? Like two minutes of your life you wasted watching this? Yeah, real content coming soon. I promise I'm working on a script. 